always wear basic PPE and review the MSDS for safety information. DMSO and cell culture freezing medium is toxic. Thawing cells is a very stressful process for them to endure. To aid your cell survival, perform each step quickly and under optimal conditions such as temperature, medium formulation, and seeding density. Clean and set up the cell culture hood before you remove the cells from liquid nitrogen storage. You will need 10 milliliters of pre-warmed medium and a cell culture flask. This protocol is the same for cells thawed into a suspension flask, but the flask used will be different. Be careful working with liquid nitrogen. Ask the safety team at your institute if you're unsure what your PPE requirements are or how to safely work with liquid nitrogen. Working quickly so that no cells thaw while they're out of the liquid nitrogen storage tank, pull the vial of cells you need and place in a cup of dry ice to keep them cold in transit to the water bath. The vial of cells should be thawed in a 37 degrees Celsius water bath quickly. Be careful not to submerge the vial as this increases the risk for contamination. Remove the vial from the water bath when a small chunk of ice remains inside. The ice chunk will melt as you move it to the cell culture hood. Wipe the vial with ethanol before placing it in the hood. Working quickly, use a small pipette to transfer the contents of the vial to a 15 milliliter centrifuge tube. Very carefully, add 10 milliliters pre-warmed cell culture medium to the tube. Start drop by drop, then gradually increase your rate in order to avoid osmotic shock. Spinning the cells in the centrifuge allows removal of the freezing medium that contains DMSO. The speed and time may vary based on the cell type. Some cell lines are too delicate to spin, so this step could be skipped in certain cases. Follow the instruction of your laboratory manager if your cells are very delicate. Discard the medium by pouring, pipetting, or using a vacuum. Be careful not to disturb the cell pellet. Resuspend cells in appropriate volume, usually 10 milliliters of complete pre-warmed medium. Medium volume, flask size, and number of flasks plated will depend on the cell number frozen in the vial and the optimal seeding density for the cells. Sometimes a viable cell count is required in order to determine the number of flasks and media volume to be used. With a north-south, east-west rocking motion to ensure even distribution of the cells and solution. Usually, cells are checked a few hours later or the next day for good adhesion, if adherent, and proper morphology. Mm -hmm.